Let us see how we can draw the perpendicular bisector of any line segment. For that first we will draw that line segment of particular length and give it a name like AB. Now I will take a compass and keep the tip of the compass at point A as center. Now I will move the pencil tip towards AB so that the part of the line segment which is between the tips of the compass looks longer than the part which is outside the compass. So this length we take as the radius and this is called more than half AB. Now using this as the radius I will draw two arcs one above AB and one below AB. So you can see these two arcs. Keeping the radius same I will now take B point as center and draw two more arcs, one intersecting the upper arc and other intersecting the lower arc. So you can see these two intersecting arcs. So keep your scale in this position and then draw a line passing through these points. This line is called the perpendicular bisector and we may name it as CD. Why it is called a perpendicular bisector? Because it is perpendicular to the line segment AB and also divides it into two equal parts. If you use your scale and check, you will find that these two parts are equal in length. Let us see how we can draw the angle bisector. For this we will consider this angle ABC. It is an acute angle. For making the angle bisector we have to take a small suitable radius on our compass and taking the vertex of the angle that is the point B as the center we will draw an arc starting from one of the arms of the angle and ending at another arm. Next we are going to take the endpoints of this arc as the centers one by one to draw two more arcs. Now if the angle given to us is an obtuse angle we will increase the radius at this point otherwise we can also keep it same for acute angles. So keeping our compass on one of the endpoints as centers, we will draw an arc in the interior of this angle. Now keeping our compass at the other endpoint of the arc, we will draw another arc intersecting the previous arc at a point. Using a scale, we will join the point of intersection of these arcs to the point B. So this ray which we get is the angle bisector and it divides the angle into two equal parts. We can name this ray by putting arrows on the end and giving a name to a point nearby. So BD is the angle bisector of this angle. Mm -hmm.